What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Greg. Go crazy, go crazy. Yes, man, we're back here with another video. Now, before you do anything, go and press that like button for your boy. Go and press the subscribe button if you are new to my channel, which you probably will be. And turn on the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. And also, man, go and press that like button. Let's try to get 10 likes on this video at least. Now, as you can see by the title and the thumbnail, we do have somebody that did play NBA 2K23. Now, y'all should know Shakedown 2012. If you don't know Shakedown 2012, I mean, you must be new. Shakedown 2012 been posting 2K since I don't know how long. Probably just like 2K15, 14. But anyway, he got to play NBA 2K23 at the Little Influences event that happened last week where it was RDC there and a whole lot of other NBA players and influences there. And he got to play 2K23 hands on. Now, he didn't get to play. You know, he wasn't going to play online with Park. But, you know, when they do have the little event, they do let them play play now. So, from his perspective on play now, from what I took from it was, you know, the speed boost with the 510 midgets, you know, they not going to be able to do that as much on 2K23. Now, all of this, take this with a grain of salt. Because all of this is his information from Play Night. Now, y'all know, when we get into the park, it's a whole different story. So, all of this information might be something completely different when we play park. It might be something completely different. They might have done updated the game, fixed a few things, tweaked some things. But as of right now, from his perspective, they did fix speed boosting a little bit. You know, and the Duncan meter is similar to the jump shot meter. If you guys didn't see the new Duncan meter, I'll put it in the video right now, as you can see on the screen right now. And he says greens are a little delayed, you know. So basically, when you shoot the green, they won't show up just like soon as you green it, it'll probably be just a little delayed. And he also said post scoring was a little easy. It's better this year. Now, y'all know what happens with post scoring in the game. When post scoring in the game, it's good. But when we, the community, get our hands on post scoring, it's never good because it always ends in a toxic way. If you don't believe me, look at 20 and look at 21. Every time there's a post score, it always ends in a toxic way. I hope it doesn't end this way this year, but I, I can't tell. It's 2K. There's only so much we can go with this information because when y'all get y'all hands on it, it's a whole different game. Now, he also said on ball defense is good. You can get bumps on the perimeter defense. Now, like I said, take this with a grain of salt. When the community get their hands on it, it's a whole different thing that might have done up that. I hope this works. I hope the on ball defense actually works. And you can stick somebody. I hope. I hope. And I hope when it works, they don't patch it. Because that's what happened. That's what happened to 21. You could play defense on the Zen. You could get steals. You could do everything. But they patched it. I don't know why they have stuff that's good and they come out with an update and they patch the good things. I don't know why, but hopefully that works. He also said the closeout speed on jump shots were fast, but you know that only happens in play. Now, y'all know when you play in play now, 2K really don't give players fast jump shots. Like the only, if you really play play now, like Curry got a fast jump shot. But if you play with anybody else, like for real, for real, like their jump shot's kind of slow. So like you can always like get a good closeout contest on them, I'm telling you. If you don't believe in my record on play now, it's crazy. I play a lot of play now too. I play everything on 2K. But I'm telling you, like the player's jump shot speed is slow. Like Jason Tatum, his jump shot speed is so slow and bad, it's ridiculous. Like he's terrible on 2K and play now. But in real life, Jason Tatum cold. So take that with a grain of salt too. He also said game speed is slow. Now, they probably might update the game speed, but they might not. Game speed is always kind of slow until, you know, they update it, like I said. He also said left stick dribbling was OP. I hope they fix left stick dribbling because if that's OP, it's going to be a long year, boy. Because y'all know that left, right, boy, that left, right, run to the left, run to the right, run to the left, run to the right. Crazy. I, I don't want to go through another year. That hopefully they fix it. Hopefully they take it out before the game even drop. I don't even want to deal with that. And he also said catch and shoot threes were good. If catch and shoot threes work the way I'm thinking about, like in 20, if you really knew how to use a catch and shot, catch and shoot three, my bad. If you really know how to use a catch and shoot three, man, boy, it's going to be crazy. If you really use it, if you really learn how to use it, 
Boy, that badge gonna be crazy for really work. He said, hands up defense is kind of weak. Hands up defense ain't really worked since 2K19. It didn't work in 20. It for sure didn't work in 21. And it don't work in this game. Hopefully, you know, it, may, it might bring it back into effect on defense. Because in real life, you have to have your hands up to play defense. It's just a real thing. It's a real thing. You have to have your hands up to play defense. He said, chase down blocks were toned down. You know, I'm kind of glad that chase downs were toned down a little bit. Not too much. You know, that is basketball. Everybody not supposed to make a dunk every time. Layups are supposed to happen, but it doesn't happen in this 2K. I don't know why. Because, you know, you can just chase people down easily. So, hopefully, he says it was toned down. Now, all of this is going off of play now. When we get in the park, like I said, whole different story. We all know this. So, take this with a grain of salt. And he also said it feels more realistic. Now, he says it feels more realistic for play now. For play now, when we get into the part, it might be a whole different story. I'm just keeping it real with you. It's, now, some of the stuff he said is probably true, but some of the stuff he said might get updated, and we haven't played it. Y'all know yeah, everybody in this community like to play glitchy, so there's no telling what might happen. But, yeah, man, that's really it for this video on a 2K23 gameplay since he did play it. Y'all know all is around the corner. Like literally almost around the corner. So when August come out, we're gonna get a whole lot of more news. They're gonna drop trailers, more trailers, the park, the neighborhood, the city, whatever they wanna call it. I don't care. But yeah, man, we still gonna be out here grinding, you know. Still out here trying to hit 80 subs. We real close. We only four subs away when this video is going to release. We're only four subs away. So if you are new to my channel, please press that sub button if you have made it this far into the video. Yeah, man, it's been your boy Grant. Go crazy, go crazy. I'm out, man. Peace.